Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. Please subscribe guys, it really does help with the algorithm and a thumbs up never hurts as well. So the number 22, guys, I recently did a video about this. Uh, earlier this year, it was February of 2021. This is when I had the first inclination that the number 22 kept on reappearing, associating itself with Ripple and or XRP in one way, shape or form. And so uh, I did a video on this eight months ago, but since then guys, I have noticed even more connections. Fast forward eight months and uh, you know, I, th I think you guys are really gonna be surprised about some of these, but just to give you guys a refresher, I'm gonna play this clip that I recorded back in February. Here it is. The other thing I noticed was this from Financial Vixen here on Twitter uh, and the number 22. So pay attention guys if you haven't seen this before. So first, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple on December 22nd, 2020. Ripple's first hearing is on February 22nd, 2021. The Simpsons Crypto episode, which uh, I did a video about back in 2019, which I thought was quite interesting, I'll link it up here if I can find it, will replay on February 22nd, 2021. And not only that, the ISO 20022 migration happens on November 22nd, 2022. Now, some may look at all this and think, well, that's just very coincidental. Let me play you this clip, guys, from FedNow, and yes, it does tie in. The FedNow service will give financial institutions the opportunity to innovate enabling their customers to send and receive money in seconds, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. How will the FedNow service work? Imagine the owner of a coffee shop is running low on coffee beans and needs to schedule a quick delivery. She places an order and the coffee bean company sends her a request for payment. She responds to the request for payment and pays for the coffee beans right then and there through an app from her credit union, which uses the FedNow service. Once she initiates the payment, her credit union screens the payment and sends an ISO 20022 compliant payment message. An ISO 20022 compliant payment message. Now guys, this is gonna be the international standard. So it's no surprise that this is happening, uh, but let me continue. Either directly or through a service provider to the FedNow service over the Federal Reserve's FedLine network. The FedNow service instantly validates the payment message and passes it along to the coffee bean supplier's bank. In real time, the supplier's bank confirms to the FedNow service that it intends to accept the payment. And the FedNow service debits and credits the master accounts of both the shop owners and the coffee bean supplier's financial institutions or the master accounts of their correspondence. The FedNow service also immediately sends a payment message with an advice of credit to the supplier's bank and notifies the shop owner's credit union that settlement is complete. Finally, the supplier's bank credits the supplier's account in near real time, making the funds available. The supplier's bank will have the option of sending a confirmation to the shop owner's credit union that the payment has been posted to the supplier's account. Get ready for the FedNow service. Learn more at FedNow.org. So that's the FedNow video. They're talking about the ISO 20022 uh, new standard for payments. Now, I'm sure you guys know about this. Federal Reserve makes FedNow XRP statement. In August, the Federal Reserve announced its plans to create a 24-7 digital payment uh, settlement system. The name of the project, FedNow, will help expedite the process for settling payments. Many people in the XRP community have prognosticated that a partnership between the U.S. Federal Reserve and Ripple is inevitable. It looks like those calls may have been premature. Uh, this article was from a year ago. Fast forward to just a couple of weeks ago, Federal Reserve Payment Pilot incorporates Ripple partner Valente Technologies. So just to give you guys some background on this, this is from Valente, this is an official PDF. The Volpe Ripple processor module speeds integration to the Ripple Global Settlement Network. Uh, so the introduction, Ripple is a new distributed ledger-based global real-time settlement mechanism. It offers banks a faster and more cost-effective mechanism to make international payments, we know that. Uh, the challenge is banks and their corporate clients look for ways to improve payments uh, payment flows uh, and reduce the capital costs associated with the traditional correspondent banking model, perhaps through consolidation of banking relationships, they will find that Ripple's modern settlement architecture offers near real-time settlement combined with significantly reduced costs for fund transfers. This is all from a few years ago, by the way. You can even see uh, Ripple here uh, connected into their system uh, through this infographic. Uh, the solution down here with easily configured business rules within Volpay's Ripple processor module, payments can be processed via traditional corresponding banking channels such as Swift or alternatively may be routed automatically via Ripple Connect to the Ripple Distributed Settlement Network. Uh, and so guys, this uh, document obviously very old. If I bring up uh, just a Google search here, you can see that this has been in the work since 2015. 
So back to the current article then. So yes, the Federal Reserve Payments Pilot, which is Fed now, is incorporating Volente Technologies uh, and it announced its participation in a pilot for the Federal Reserve's new instant payment platform, Fed now. The other thing I noticed here, which was quite interesting, uh, was that talk about the ISO 20022 standard. And uh, you know, it wouldn't be so interesting if uh, you know a whole bunch of cryptocurrencies uh, have already been integrated with this for a while. But I wanted to bring this to your attention, guys. This from back in May, Rip Ripple joins ISO 20022 standards body, the first member focused on DLT. So this is going to take a while in case you guys do not know. This is going to take a while to roll out. They were uh, estimating that it would be sometime, I believe it was 2025, uh, that the entire world would be on the ISO 20022 standard for payments. Uh, but let me read you this. Ripple joins ISO 20022 standards body. According to Ripple's website, Ripple is now part of the ISO 20022 standards body, the first member focused on distributed ledger technology to help enable the next step in global interoperability and meet the evolving needs of its customers. So they were the first DLT service to get on this international standard. Of course, it is no surprise to me. We've known this now for a while, and yet the number 22 keeps popping up. And uh, I did see this pick from a while ago, 20 to 2 or 20 to Two, two. I don't remember when this uh, video, because I believe this is a screen grab from a video, was originally posted, but I would imagine sometime in late 2019 or 2020, perhaps. But lots of things have come out since then. So there's the SEC, December 22nd, Ripple's first hearing, February 22nd, the Simpsons Crypto app, February 22nd as well. And the ISO 20022 migration happens or begins to happen on November 22nd, 2022. So 22 keeps popping up. Do you guys believe in coincidences or does this all just seem way too convenient? So back when I originally recorded this, uh, you know, ISO 20022. Uh, was the big uh, kind of story within the Ripple XRP ecosystem. Uh, as you guys saw in that video, Brad Garlinghouse standing in front of a board that said 22, huh? And if you watch that video, um, I didn't play the video in that last clip, but if you guys watch that video of Brad Garlinghouse, he is indeed talking about the ISO 20022 standard. We also saw some important dates in that video that relate to Ripple uh, going on the ISO 20022 standard. And uh, you know, a lot of us are assuming the ISO 20022 standard, much of it will be implemented in the year 2022, which is just around the corner. But guys, I think there is even more to this number 22 and so i'm going to start the deep dive right now first of all we have to talk about the powers that be and their infatuation with numerology i saw this website here it was from author jill hughes um and so she talks briefly here about uh, the power that be's fascination with numerology and uh, number patterns she says first let me explain my understanding of i'll call them the powers that be as they are sometimes referred to, they are understood to be the dark forces which have infiltrated and are running all key institutions and organizations here on Earth. They reputedly have a number of objectives. Global control through what this says here, I'm not going to say it out loud because one time my video got flagged for putting that in the title for whatever reason, orchestrated by global organizations such as the United Nations, genetic modification to create a future cyborg army, which includes what they call the sheeple as potential recruits, which is why it is important to share and try to raise awareness. After all, you cannot escape, let alone win, if you have no inclination of the game you were trapped in, right? Anyway, she gets into numerology in more detail in this uh, in this article here. It gets into religion. I will link this, guys, in the description of the video if you are more interested in uh, numerology as a broader concept. I just kind of wanted to bring this to you guys as an introduction into the number 22 and how it relates to Ripple and XRP specifically and how um, we are going to see ties to the powers that be. So we have XRP 22 full reduction. What does this mean? X equals six, R equals nine, P equals seven. And, uh, you know, if you add those numbers together, that obviously does equal 22. Well, it came from this guys. Now this is a website here. I don't know who runs this, but here they're piecing a lot of information together, uh, that surrounds numerology. And, uh, as we've eventually found out XRP equals 22 when we plug it into the gematria calculator and because we know xrp is fond of the number 22 i'll point out that november 13th 2022 i'm reading by the way from this uh, from this article november 13th 2022 will be 484 weeks after august 4th 2013 a number having a square root 
of 22. Now, why are those dates so important? Well, if I go up here, you guys can see Ripple XRP's August 4th, 2013 debut and why November 13th, 2022 could be a major milestone for the cryptocurrency. XRP was launched on August 4th, 2013. Notice XRP was first traded in an exchange on August 4th, 2013. The date can be written as 48 or 84. It had been on the market since February 2nd, 2013. Uh, it was first added in the cryptocurrency exchange on August 4th, 2013 of a price of about one cent. You can find the complete uh, history here. But guys, here's where it gets a little strange. XRP equals 22, first put on the market on February 2nd or two slash two, 484, the square root of that is 22. But if we get back to this, right, what is this? Well, if you go over here, guys, we have the Gematria calculator. And what you can see here, if you click reduce, so this is by full reduction. If you type in the letters X, all right, type in R, and you type in P right in here under full reduction, you can see those numbers reduced to seven, nine, six. And if you add those numbers together, seven plus nine equals 16 plus six equals, well, I think you get it, 22. Okay, so that's just one connection here to the number 22. It's also interesting to note the SEC's lawsuit of XRP, the Ripple coin, as it is uh, sometimes dubbed, was on December 22nd, 2020. So there's a 22 in that date, but also note this guys, that is 201 days before Jay Clayton's birthday. And Jay Clayton, as you guys may all know, was the guy who did announce the XRP lawsuit from the SEC. He was the former chairman of the SEC. And so getting into this more deeply, the Ripple coin, equals 201. This would have to do with the reverse ordinal from the Gematria calculator online. I've got another one up here. And if we type in the Ripple coin, you can see the reverse ordinal down here gives us 201 for the Ripple coin. Just getting back to this real quickly here. And the Jesuit order as well equals 201 with reverse ordinal. So putting that in here, the Jesuit, I have it already down here. The Jesuit order, Reverse ordinal also equals 201. Well, it's interesting because Jay Clayton's lawsuit against Ripple XRP was on December 22nd, which does again have the 22 in there. And that was 201 days before his upcoming birthday, which was July 11th, 2021, which started his 56th year of life. So these numerical patterns, guys, keep appearing in a lot of different facets. Uh, when we talk about Ripple and XRP, and I mean, I mean, it could mean nothing, but again, it's interesting to see the connections and, you know, with every connection, you know, I mean, if it were one connection, I'd be like, okay, whatever, it's one connection. But, you know, as those connections build and as we start to see more and more, this is when it gets me scratching my head and gets me thinking a lot harder about everything that is going on. So let me continue. We also have to remember this, 22 with regards to meaning and symbolism and the angel number 22. Let me read you guys what this means down here, okay? The number 22 is considered as one of the most powerful numbers able to turn all dreams and desires into reality. The number 22 is a number of precision and balance. In its full capacity, this number is the master builder, which means that it provides the power to achieve almost impossible things. Now building the XRPL, recreating what is the financial system, going to be a central part of that, something that some may say almost impossible to achieve. I think many would agree that that is a pretty good definition or a pretty good description, uh, I'd say, of XRP with regards to, um, you know, the, the cryptocurrency industry as a whole, I'd say. Considering what all these cryptocurrency projects are trying to build, Ripple and XRP have a mammoth task ahead of them. I mean, they've started from zero and just kept building up, kept partnering with central banks around the world, financial institutions. And, you know, in 2021, here we are. Ripple and XRP have achieved so much. So I think it is safe to say one could consider them the master builder, Ripple being the master builder, but of course, all the development that is going on on the XRPL. So that is what 22 means when it comes to angel numbers. Somebody also told me that February 22nd was George Washington's birthday, one of the founding fathers and the first president of the United States, no doubt. He had much influence, was a master builder of the country. And not only that, guys, 
Did you know George Washington was also a Mason? For George Washington, joining the Masons was a rite of passage and an expression of his civil responsibility. After becoming a Master Mason, Washington had the option of passing through a series of additional rites that would take him to higher degrees. In 1788, shortly before becoming the first president of the United States, Washington was elected the first Worshipful Master of Alexandria Lodge, number 22. So there you have it, born on February 22nd, connected to the Freemasons, first worshipful master of Alexandria Lodge, number 22. So here we have it, guys, the number 22 popping up again and again and again. George Washington could be considered one of those master builders of the country. Again, the angel number 22, referring back to that, uh, let alone all these other connections like the Gematria calculator, full reduction, typing in XRP in here, and the numbers add up to the number 22. Another thing that I wanted to mention that I found a little creepy and eerie was this. Somebody tweeted me the other day and mentioned Clade X. Now, for those of you guys who do not know what this is, Clade X was a 2018 pandemic modeling exercise by Johns Hopkins University Center of Health Security named after a hypothetical infective agent. In the simulation, the hypothetical pandemic resulted in 9 million simulated deaths. Now, this happened in 2018, guys. Of course, we all know what happened at the beginning of 2020. We uh, certainly know that there is a connection with Johns Hopkins University and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which also has a connection to Ripple and XRP. So there's one connection there. But Clade X, when you put that in the Gematria calculator, L A D E X full reduction, what do you get? Six plus five equals 11, plus four equals 15, plus one equals 16, plus three equals 19, plus three equals, you got it, 22. The other thing that I wanted to bring up with regards to Clade X, they mentioned that it was a model by Johns Hopkins University Center. And you know Johns Hopkins, guys, a partner of the World Economic Forum, which, as you guys know, I've done many videos on them. And finally, guys, I wanted to save this tweet. This happened a couple of months ago. David Schwartz tweeting this out back on September 9th is taking two hours to shoot a 20 second video normal. And it looks like this tweet is just referring to one of those ripple drop episodes that these guys uh, film every so often. But note the wording is taking two hours to shoot a 20 second video normal. Well, I think you guys see where I am going with this. So the number 22 and the connections with Ripple and XRP keep mounting, guys. I know I'm having a lot of fun with this, but the more connections I see, the more it really does get me scratching my head. And you know, as always, if there are other connections to the number 22 that I have missed, please do put it down in the comment section. Tag me on Twitter if you guys are on Twitter. I'm at workingmoneych. Oh yeah, I actually almost forgot this one. You guys know what five plus eight plus nine equals? That's probably one of the most important ones there is for XRP hodlers. So is it all a coincidence or is it something more? Tell me down in the comments what you guys think and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.